Hi, everybody. Welcome to week one of your four week abs challenge. Let's start on your back, march the feet up to tabletop, and then check that you have a 90 degree angle at the knees by drawing a straight line from the knees down to the hips. Place the fingertips on the abdominals to check for deep ab activation. We'll warm up with a set of toe taps, one foot to the other foot, tap and tap, keeping the fingers on the abdominals to keep that connection, activating the abs, making sure that your lower back is not going up and down off the mat. You're just holding it in neutral. Let's take it into a modified dead bug. Wave the arms over the head with one kick, then switch the legs, kick out, tuck back in, and switch. There's no need to rush these. Take your time to find your form, find your breath, and establish a good consistent movement pattern. Stretch out, tuck in, and switch. Out, in, and switch. Let's do this about five more times. Tapping, kicking out with the arm wave, tucking back into that 90 degree tabletop position. Very stable, working here in a neutral spine. Stretch out, tuck in, switch, and then lower both feet down, wrapping the hands behind the head. Taking it now to a three-part ab curl. We'll reach on the third pulse and then wrap the hands behind the head. So it's exhale up, two, reach, three, wrap and lower back. Exhale up up, reach, lower it down, wrap it back. Exhale up, two, reach, three, with a little hold before you return to the starting position. Maximize the abdominal work by curling all the way through the rib cage, lifting up, keeping the feet connected to the mat, the knees still lifting through the abs, pressing the ribs into the mat so you don't strain the neck. One more time through. Exhale up, two, reach three, and wrap it back. Prepare for reverse curls by placing the palms on the mat, lifting the feet to tabletop and crossing at the ankles. Six reverse curls up, two, three, active connection, palms to the mat, five, six. Now just switch your ankles over. Six more times, up, two, three, four, five, and six. Uncross the ankles, remain in tabletop. Fold the hands back behind the head again. Start with a cross curl, elbow over to the opposite knee. Exhale, lift, lower down, and lift other side, lower down. Alternating one side to the other. This is your preparation set for crisscross, so use this time to activate the obliques, rotate through the rib cage, and get ready to add in that kick. One more twist across. Now full crisscross, twist and kick it out. Two, three, four. 
not too fast, a little pause at the end of each repetition, holding that contraction, making sure you are in control. Two more, switch, tuck it back in, lower down, take a quick breath, and then slide one foot out. It's a kick, an abdominal curl, lift it up, lower down, switch the feet, slide the foot out, kick and curl up, lengthen away, tuck the foot in, and switch. Lift, lower, tuck, switch. Exhale, kick and lift, lower, tuck, switch. Lift, lower, tuck, switch. As you kick, keep everything in a zone where you can control it. You don't need your leg to kick your face. You just need it to sweep off the mat, lifting up and providing an extra contraction for the abs, pulling everything into the center. Stretch it out, kick, lower down, tuck in. Stretch it out, kick, lower, tuck, and stretch, kick, lower, tuck. It's a quick set of single leg stretch. Exhale, curl up the head, neck, and shoulders, then pull in the knees, hugging into a little ball. Kick it out, one, switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, tuck both knees in, roll down, inhale, two more sets, exhale, curl up, kick it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I did two extra on this set, so nine, 10, tuck it in, roll it back. One more set, this time we'll do eight, I promise. Exhale up, kick out, one, two, three, four, five. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. Last two, one, tuck in. Roll back, we're ready for one more set on your back. Return to tabletop and cross the ankles. We're doing the same reverse curl, but adding in a little V kick. So it's a curl, then just kick the feet out to a V to cross to the other side and reverse curl. Kick out, cross the ankles, reverse curl, kick out, cross the other side, up, down keeping the palms connected to the mat, activating through the triceps and the lats to stabilize the upper body so you can maximize that lift through the pelvis, getting the whole hip complex up off the mat. Let's wrap it up with your final set right here. And then we're going to transition into a plank to finish. Give yourself a second to come up into a side plank. You'll see that I found a knee position for my side plank, so a half plank. Then let's kick the top foot out and reach the arm up. And we'll do eight kicks together here in your side plank. Ready? Exhale up and tap. Two. Three, four, stillness through the body, a little lift, maybe it's a tiny kick, last two, and 
one, tap it down, lower down, smooth transition over to the other side. You can find your half plank to start. I'll give you a second to get there. Then kick out the top foot, lift the arm overhead, preparing for your eight slow kicks. Lift and tap. Two, three, four, four more, four, three, two, and one. Tap down, tucking the top foot in, swing the arm around, lower your body to the mat, and then coming to a front plank to finish. We have about one minute to go. You can start your plank from the knees in a half plank position or press all the way up to your full plank, pushing the floor away from you, finding an even slope down from your shoulder to your hip, to your knee, to your ankles. You can add some little knee taps to give yourself a little something extra to kill the time here. Tap one knee to the other and tap, tap, or just hold the plank or drop down to the knees anytime. I'm gonna just finish up this plank strong here about 10 more seconds in my full plank Remembering to stay active through the neck. And last breath in. Exhale, lower the knees down. Let's walk it back to child's pose. Lowering the head to the floor and finishing with a stretch. Great job with this ab challenge. Let me know how it went in the comments below. And remember to subscribe so you can follow the whole series.